Hey guys, can you see me? Is the connection a little better? Wait, walk away to wrong one. Wrong escalator. Is the connection better? Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm getting hard, so must be, must be a lot better now. Hey, who's that? Keys, what's up? What's up, Ryan? Hello, hello to you guys. So I want to tell you that let me get on this escalator safely first. How about that? <laughs> oh shoot. These things make me so nervous. <laughs> Crazy, right? All right, so we're getting hard. So that means you guys, you are not still at the airport. You are not still at the airport. Who is that? Ned? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I had a layover. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> I definitely had a layover, guys. Hold on, let me get in a place where I can talk to you. Yeah, I'm still at the airport. <laughs> but I'm coming, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm at the airport, you guys know I'm coming, right? You guys know I would definitely be there. And I just got the notification that you guys are starting. What's up, Don? Doors are closing. All right, so the airport is really a great place for you guys. No, no, not poor thing. This is actually a wonderful thing. Why? Because I'm selling books. I'm selling books at the airport. So it makes it even that much wonderful, okay? You remember, I always tell you guys to have your book with you. What's that? Do y'all see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Always have your book with you. Why? People ask questions like, is that you on the book? Is that you and this and the other? So I was able to sell some books. Froze or you unfrozen? You had to go out and come back in. Okay, cool. So what happened was, so sitting next to guy asked me, are those all your books? Yes, these are all my books. I started talking to him. I shared it earlier on scope, but I think like the connection was lost. So, I uh, just want to make sure I'm on the right thing. Thanks, Don. And so, I'm just like so super excited. Not only did he buy a book, but he poured into the ministry. And then Joni gets on here because the guy was telling me about some lady named Joni. And couldn't find out, Joni follows me on Periscope. So, it's like so insane on how you don't know how far your influence or impact maybe you just don't know so you keep sharing your story okay keep sharing your story yeah you don't know you don't know how far your reach is I know right so I'm, I'm walking around the airport with all my books The doors are closing. <laughs> Please exit and hold on to the departure terminal, ground transportation, and yes. baggage placement. Yes. Give hearts if you guys can still see this or if we're losing connection this, on this train. especially on social media yes yes so small extremely small yeah so small hold on please we are approaching terminal ground transportation and baggage claim I'm almost there. Almost to you guys. This is the terminal. You on bar? No. Please exit. 
I'm on the, believe it or not, you guys are riding with me and the connection is still good. I just want to make sure I'm on the right thing. All passengers, please exit. This is C. I need to get to C. Do not exit this side. Okay. All right, just had to make sure I'm going the right way. Now I'm on the airport train. I have to get to C. But I think I'm on the right one, I hope. The doors are closing. Please keep clear and hold on for the departure to all A gates. Thanks for the hearts. Do it, D. Don. I'm so like so super proud of y'all. I can't wait to get to this computer because I can't. I, I'm leaving you guys a personal message. I can't leave y'all hanging yet while I'm out here. Oh wow, this is so super cool. Like we're going on all A gates. Okay, cool. Yeah, Jenny, what is up? So this is my encouragement to you. Don't be ashamed of walking around with your book in your hand because I, I could have missed my blessing. Okay, I'm thinking about updating my cover. Why? I love it. Unless you give me good reasons why. <laughs> I love it. I don't think you should update it. I think you should probably add an addition to it and then do another book cover, but it's like an addition to it, but not necessarily change it. You know? I'm so inspired. I'm so happy to hear that, John. Don't get lost. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. No, I'm not gonna get lost. I hope I don't get lost. I'm not afraid to ask somebody for help. Okay, this is A. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, this is A. But yeah, don't be ashamed. I want to put that Dr. Melvin Green did. Oh, okay, yeah. Then I can understand. Yeah, definitely. Definitely put the floor up there, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with that part. All day. And so what I want to share with you guys is that don't airports are the best place to sell your book. They have bookstores too, honey. You know what he said? He was like, yo, I'm reading this book on a plane. My flight is two hours. What better more than a good, interesting book? And soon, I will share. Uh, I'm getting, my team is getting everything together for you guys in my membership group. But soon, we will definitely share how you can get your book inside of each and every single airport. So while people are traveling, they're able to purchase your books, okay? She's for, oh yeah, I remember you was telling me that. I remember you sharing that with me. So, with this, you have to think out the box. You want to be international, you need to put your book in international places. You don't have to go out of the country in order to be international, okay? It's the people that makes it international, baby. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm just so super excited, so moved. Um, this whole trip has definitely been a faith walk. I need to speed up. The writing of my book, you need to finish, not speed up, finish. So speed takes helps you to finish. So you definitely need to, okay? You definitely need to. There is no excuses. Hey, what's going on, Jackson? How long it took you to write your book? Three months. Three months on my first book. Uh, three and a half months on my second one because I had 30 contributing authors and seven days on my author hacks. Seven days on my author hacks. So yeah, got another book coming for ya. So I wanna tell you like, don't, don't think small minded or let fear thinking like people are gonna ask you, you want them to ask you, what is up with your book? And always have like a brief summary. Like, he didn't want to hear my whole life story. That's why he was, he purchased the book. So he didn't want to be saturated with a whole life story. This is, he's not the only one. I sold three books in the airport. Exit here for Seagates. Seagates, I'm at my destination. 
Please watch your step. Yes. All passengers, please uh, I think this is it. Yep. So I sold three books since I've been in the airport. And my arm is tired. But you know what? Uh-oh. Almost fell. Look, check this out, right? Almost got a... I almost purchased a book bag from a shopping store. Miss Alaska, are you uh, just getting to San Francisco? No, I'm in Denver right now. But I'm on my way to San Fran. But what I want to say to you guys is... If I would have had my books in a book bag... Would anybody know I was on? Uh, would I sold any books? So if I have my books in a book bag, would I sold any books? Yes or no? If my books were in my suitcase, would I sold any books? Yes or no? That's all I need to know. And I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to think about that. You are okay, exactly. I'm about to go over here and talk to you for a few seconds because I got to get it in. Okay. So this thing is. I know exactly right so you cannot be in fear or anything or somebody talking about you making fun of you laughing and this that, and the other so you have to take on every opportunity is this a speaking engagement I'm at at the airport no am I meeting a business person no and couldn't find out this guy was a millionaire you never know the opportunities or the people you're gonna meet especially in the airport okay and everybody travels on airplane so you never know, okay? You definitely never know. So I want you guys to take advantage of it too. When you guys are traveling somewhere, have your book. Make sure you always have your book. If you're, you know, wherever you're at, if you're on the bus, have your book in your hand, on the bus. If you're wherever, and come to find out, like I could just walk around with my book in my hand at the airport because I have a layover sparking conversations with people i met this guy named lawrence on a plane i gave him some mustard seeds okay so you definitely want to make sure that you always have your book and this is why i said so this is what works it works it works guys it works it definitely works it works it works it works it definitely works okay so make sure you guys have your books with you at all times you never know who you're sitting next to and I told y'all that you don't know who's related to who and I told y'all that I'm serious I'm so serious about this like if you guys are serious about making an impact and guess what from Denver he's gonna take that book and then Joni gets on here, okay, from Scope, and was like, yo, I heard you just met my friend John. What? John called Joni just that fast. One person had all three of them. Just that fast. John calls Joni, tells him about my story, tells her about my story. And I bet you she's like, yeah, I know that girl. I know her. Okay? So that fast, he was already marketing, and I know he didn't finish reading the book. I know he didn't finish reading the book. I know he didn't even start it, because we just left. Then I get on the scope, because I'm so pumped up and excited about meeting him. And then all of a sudden, Joni, Joni got on, and she was like, um, I heard you just met my friend John. I'm like, oh my gosh, Joni, he was talking about you, girl. He was talking about Joni, okay? Yes, he was. He was saying so many great things about her. So that's how I knew it was her. I was like, wow, that's crazy. So you never know again, you know, you never know. And who else did he call about my story? Who else did he call to say, I got this book and I need y'all to go on Amazon and go get this book. Who else is he going to buy the book for as a gift? You never know. And his brother's a pastor. His brother's a pastor in Pasadena, California. So, you know, we already know it's going to be a phone call, email in place. And it's going to be like, yo, I need you. I met this lady at the airport. You can't say nothing about God's divine timing. The question isn't if the opportunity is going to come. The question is, are you going to be ready?